Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In our last class, we had studied the, we had given you a list, list of all the preparation reactions. Okay, preparation of haloalkanes. So I had given you a list of preparation of haloalkanes. Okay, so in that preparation of haloalkanes, what are we going to see is on the right hand side, that is the product side, we are going to get haloalkanes. We're going to prepare haloalkanes. And for that, we're going to see which all different function groups we can use for preparing haloalkanes. Okay, so the first method is from alcohols. So we can prepare haloalkanes using alcohols. Now, uh, we can prepare haloalkanes using alcohols, but there are four different sub methods here. So, from alcohols by using HX. Okay, then second method is by using, I would given you this in the last uh, part, but I'm just writing it once again for the, so that you can understand. Yes, by using SOCL2. Then third part is by using PCL3. And the fourth one, fourth sub part is by using PCL5. Okay, so this is preparation of haloalkanes by using what? Alcohols from alcohol. So we're going to start with alcohol and we're going to do all these four reactions. So let's do them one by one. So we start with a standard alcohol. The standard alcohol is CH3CH2OH. If you want to write the general reaction, in general reaction, you can write it like this ROH or alcohol. Okay. Then what do we do is this is ethanol. In ethanol, we are adding, what are we adding? We are adding HX, okay, the first method, the first sub part by using HX. HX meaning I can take HBr, HCl, HI, HF, just avoid taking HF, right? Because whenever you take HF, hydrogen fluorine does not, hydrogen and fluoride does not get dissociated easily because fluorine being the world's most electronegative element holds on to the electrons of hydrogen and does not release hydrogen easily okay whereas in case of hbr it is a little more easier to dissociate so if you ask me what will be the order of dissociation then the order of dissociation will be like this right this will take the maximum energy to dissociate or if you uh, if you give the title ease of dissociation then ease of dissociation will be something like this have a look hf then hcl then hbr then HI. HI will be the easiest to dissociate. HI will be the easiest to dissociate. So we are using ethanol and HBR over here. So H and OH will combine to form what? H and OH will combine to form H2O. Okay. And after forming H2O, what's going to happen? This VR is going to get attached over here. It's as simple as that. But now we need to go a little deep, uh, deep into the other hydrogen halides like say for example if i am using ch3 ch2 oh that's the standard alcohol ch3 ch2 oh ethanol okay and in this ethanol if i add hi now remember that when i add hi hi also acts as a reducing agent okay what will hi act hi will act as a reducing agent due to which you will get h2o and you will get haloalkane over here ch3 ch2 I, but the problem is HI is also acting as a reducing agent. So because it is acting as a reducing agent, what is going to happen? This reaction may get reversed. Okay. It may get reversed towards alcohol because this reaction, I mean, HI, because we have used HI, but if you molecules HI, ki use ki, usme se thode molecules bach jayenge na. So bache hoye molecules kya karenge HI ke, they will cause reduction. They will cause the reversal, not a reversal of the reaction. And if you don't want the reversal of reaction, what you will do, you will use a mild oxidizing agent on the arrow, HIO3. What are we going to use? HIO3 on the arrow. Okay. So this was the first method, see, from alcohols by using the first sub method by using HX. Now, second thing is by using uh, SOCL2. This process is called as Darzen's process. It's also the chemical method for preparation of alcohol oh sorry haloalkane for preparation of haloalkane the commercial method why is it the commercial method because here in both the byproducts which are obtained both the byproducts which are obtained socl2 let me write it like this s double bond o cl and cl okay this is the structure of socl2 yeah so the both the byproducts which are obtained in darjan's process both of them are gases and due to which you can directly get what now hcl is a gas and then again ch3 ch2 cl will be combined and this so and o will be combined to form so2 so so and o will combine to form so2 so both of these are the byproducts both of them are gaseous they will get rid we'll get rid of so2 and hcl easily without 
using any different method of separation and directly we can get ch3 ch2 and cl over here so we will be getting chloroethane and because we are directly getting chloroethane this method is the commercial method for preparation of haloalkenes commercial method meaning a method which is used for the large scale preparation of haloalkenes and this is dargins process preparation of chloroethane then the third sub method this was the second sub method okay now we are moving on to the third sub method okay of preparing haloalkenes now this time using pcl3 now when we are using pcl3 make sure that you use 3 moles of alcohols so if if i write 3 moles of alcohols okay uh, i can write them like this as well okay i can write them like this as well ch3 ch2 oh and ch3 ch2 oh i'm writing like this so that you understand a little better and pcl3 i'll write like this so that we can understand who's getting combined with whom so what is going to happen is three hydrogens from here one phosphorus from here and three oxygens from here will form h3po3 now h3po3 is phosphorus acid remember phosphorus acid is a dibasic acid whereas phosphoric acid is a tribasic acid now why is it so have a look have a look at the structure of phosphorus acid i'm drawing out the structure of phosphorus acid this is oh oh and h so you must be thinking that sir why can't these three hydrogens be donated it is h3 so it should be tribasic but actually it is not tribasic this is a question also which is being asked in your exams that as a give reason so this three hydrogens cannot be donated because these two can be donated this one cannot be donated because it is not attached to an oxygen so what happens when it is attached to an oxygen oxygen like oxygen's electrons are getting pulled by this p double bond o p double bond o is the electron withdrawing group over here then oxygen in turn gets polarized and pulls electrons of hydrogen and due to which it can kick out this hydrogen written release these two h plus ions and because it releases two h plus ions it is a dibasic acid but for this hydrogen it is not attached to an oxygen it does not get polarized and hence it cannot be released okay hence this hydrogen cannot be released and therefore this becomes a dibasic acid instead of a tribasic acid well let's come back to the reaction here we are having h3po3 and these three cl will get attached to these three ch3 ch2 that means the alkyl groups and we'll be getting ch3 ch2 cl ch3 ch2 cl all the three are what nothing but chloro ethane you need not write like this in your exam you can just write it once and then write three times over here this is what chloro ethane this is another haloalkane which we have prepared using alcohol but this time using what pcl3 phosphorus trichloride the next method the fourth sub method we are going to use what pcl5 phosphorus pentachloride yes phosphorus pentachloride pcl5 ch3 ch2 oh plus pcl5 so do we need to take three times like the previous case no in this one we did not take three times like we did in the previous case so here we are having pcl5 let me split out the pcl5 and write the structure like this so that you understand a little better so here we are having po and these three cl combining with each other so when you have po and 3 cl combining so it will become po cl3 this is called as phosphorus oxychloride what is it phosphorus oxy chloride okay so this is phosphorus oxy chloride the remaining two cl so one h and cl will combine over here so we get another by product that's hcl and the one more cl will get attached to the alkyl group giving us halo alkene that's what we desire in this particular method of reactions ch3 ch2 cl we are doing preparation of halo alkene we get a halo alkene which halo alkene have we got we've got chloroethane chloroethane also called as alkyl halide in form of in form of the common names it will be ethyl chloride okay ethyl chloride as the common name iupac name chloroethane common name ethyl chloride okay so this one was using pcl5 what is it this is using what pcl5 now there were only four sub methods right now the second method for preparation of alkenes the first method was from alcohols from alcohols we had four different sub methods under from alcohols we had using hx using a uh, PCl3 using PCl5 and using SOCl2. So we did this four sub methods for from alcohols. Now second will be second major method will be from halo from alkenes. 
okay the second major method will be from alkenes now i can use two types of alkenes first one will be symmetrical alkenes and the second one will be asymmetrical alkenes let's first see symmetrical alkenes here okay so symmetrical meaning what the two carbons which are sharing the double bond please pay attention here the two carbons which are sharing the double bond are having equal number of hydrogens and if they are having equal number of hydrogens it's called as a symmetrical alkene and in this symmetrical alkene we add what we add hbr in this symmetrical alkene we add hbr and then we are having h plus and br minus h plus will get attached over here br minus will get attached over here as simple as that and double bond will convert into a sing single bond this is the simplest addition reaction so we have got br connected over here we have got h connected over here this is bromoethane a halo alkene which has been prepared using an alkene which has been prepared using an alkene so this is what symmetrical from symmetrical alkene so for symmetrical alkenes it was pretty simple no rules as such but for asymmetrical alkenes we are going to have some rules what are the rules what are those rules just let's see this is a symmetrical alkene can you tell me why is it a symmetrical alkene it is a symmetrical alkene because these two carbons which are sharing the double bond are not having equal number of hydrogens right there are this is having two hydrogens over here this is having one hydrogens over here this is what makes it asymmetrical okay now in this asymmetrical uh alkene we are going to add what we are going to add hx let's add hbr once again so hbr will follow a rule what is the rule the rule says the rule is markovnikov's rule and the rule says that the negative part gets attached to the carbon having the least number of hydrogen atoms and the positive part gets attached to the carbon having the most number of hydrogen atoms so now you must be thinking that sir are positive part aap idhar attach karo na this is having the maximum number of hydrogen atoms ch3 बट कोई डम बुरा नहीं ऐसा कह सकेगा कि यू विल अटैच वॉट हाइड्रोजन ओवर या वाई बिकॉज देर इज नो डबल बॉन्ड ओवर या so i cannot perform addition for this carbon because the valency will get disturbed otherwise okay we are going to break the double bond that's why we are uh, subjecting only these two carbons to addition you can't subject the other carbons to addition which are not having the double bond so uh, in short our positive part will get attached to the carbon having double bond which is uh, which is attached to the double bond and which is having most number of hydrogens and the negative part will get attached to the carbon having least number of hydrogens although it should be in conjunction with the double bond okay so what do we get over here ch3 ch single bond ch2 so we attach a br over here and we attach a hydrogen over here so we get what two bromo propane right two bromo propane but wait a minute that's not the only product we get this is the 80% product this is according to the rule see 80% people are following or 80% molecules are following the rule but like whenever there is a rule there are 20% chantanus who do not follow the rule and there are 80% of other people who follow the rule okay so we will get what the other products which are not following the rule in this case what is happening pay attention what is happening the positive part has got attached to the carbon having least number of hydrogens and the negative part has got attached to the carbon having most number of hydrogen ulta ho gaya hai against the rule ho gaya but aise molecules kitne honge 20% honge and this is going to be one bromo propane what is this one bromo propane okay this is two bromo propane one bromo propane so it's like jab bhi signal bhi lagta hai aap dekhte ho traffic police ke time pe right agar signal lag jata hai ek chauk mein to agar wahan pe traffic police nahi hai to kuch log idhar udhar dekhenge and they will just cross the signal okay they are 20% of people who will break the rule okay at the red light they are not stopping 80% of the people are following the rule they are stopping at the red light okay so that was markovnikov's rule markovnikov's rule i'll repeat once more it says that the negative part should get attached to the carbon having least number of hydrogens and the positive part should get attached to the carbon having more number of hydrogens but now we are coming to the counter part of markovnikov's the counter part of markovnikov's is anti markovnikov's and anti markovnikov says that the negative part should get attached to the carbon having more number of hydrogens the rule only itself says that negative part matlab change kar diya red light stop ke liye tha to red light go ke liye kar diya और जो ग्रीन लाइट था वो गो के लिए था उसको स्टॉप के लिए कर दिया मतलब उल्टा कर दिया नाउ नेगेटिव पार्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल शुड गेट अटैच टू द कार्बन हैविंग लीस्ट मोस्ट नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड पॉजिटिव पार्ट शुड गेट अटैच टू द कार्बन हैविंग लेस नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बट this can happen only and only in the presence of a peroxide this anti markovnikov's rule is also called as the kharash mayo effect okay kharash mayo effect or also known as the peroxide effect peroxide effect bhi kehte hain isko see entrance mein kaam mein aayega aapke theek hai these are the other names which are given to anti markovnikov's rule kharash mayo effect and peroxide effect so uh, why it is called as peroxide because this thing is possible only only and only in case of 
कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ओके इन केस ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एच बी आर एंड पेरोक्साइड अगर दोनों में से एक भी नहीं है फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर हैविंग ओनली एच बी आर तो आपका मार्को निक ऑफ हो जाएगा ठीक है अगर वी आर हैविंग ओनली पेरोक्साइड बट इंस्टेड ऑफ एच बी आर वी आर हैविंग एच सी एल एच आई एच एफ तो भी मार्को एंटी मार्कोनिक ऑफ रूल नहीं होगा तो अगर आपको एंटी मार्कोनिक ऑफ रूल चाहिए तो यू हैव टू एंड हैव टू एंड हैव टू यूज दीज टू इन कॉम्बिनेशन वट आर विच आर द टू इन कॉम्बिनेशन एन ए टू ओ टू एंड एच बी आर शुड बी इन कॉम्बिनेशन देन वट वी गेट वी गेट समथिंग लाइक द सी एच थ्री सी एच सिंगल बॉन्ड सी एच टू वी गेट बी आर अटैच ओवर ईयर एंड एच अटैच ओवर ईयर दैट इज वन ब्रोमो प्रोपेन दिस टाइम दिस बींग द लिस नो दिस टाइम दिस बींग द एटी परसेंट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट विल बी एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट टू दिस राइट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस थिंग वॉज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट इन मार्कोनिकॉस बट इट हेज बिकम द माइनर प्रोडक्ट इन एंटी मार्कोनिकॉस एंड विच वॉज द माइनर इन मार्कोनिकॉफ्स हेज बिकम द मेजर इन एंटी मार्कोनिकॉफ्स दिस इज टू ब्रोमो प्रोपे आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड फ्रॉम अल्किस द सेकेंड मेथड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड विच वन this one from alkenes symmetrical and asymmetrical alkenes we have done in asymmetrical we have seen two rules markonikov's rule and anti markonikov's rule yes i repeat anti markonikov's rule also called as kharash mayo effect or the peroxide effect okay now we are having the third method right no fourth method now no third one only yeah so third method will be we have done first one from alcohols then second one we have done from alkenes now from or we can write by by halogen exchange okay by halogen exchange ab by halogen exchange mein already halo alkene hai lekin humko halogen exchange karna hai halogen ko kya karna hai exchange karna hai so first one is finkelstein reaction have a look at the way i am writing finkelstein right finkelstein लास्ट टू लेटर्स में कैपिटल लिख रहा हूं लास्ट टू लेटर्स हमारा निमोने के हमको कुछ याद दिलाते क्या याद दिलाते हैं लाइक एन विल स्टैंड फॉर एन एंड आई विल स्टैंड फॉर आयोडाइड सो यू हैव टू कंपलसरी यूज एन ए आई एज वन ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट्स ओवर एंड यू विल बी टेकिंग एनी ऑफ द हेलो अल्किन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन टेक सी एच थ्री बी आर बट जस्ट डोंट टेक आयोडो अल्किन अदरवाइज वॉट आई वॉन्ट एक्सचेंज सो यू टेक एनी हेलो अल्किन बट नॉट एन आयोडो अल्किन इन दिस एंड वॉट गोन हैपन इज एन एंड सी एल विल एन एंड बी आर विल कंबाइन फॉर्म एन ए बी आर and iodine will get attached to the al uh, alkyl group forming iodomethane okay so this is like just iski topi uske sir we are just exchanging the halogens this we are got it over here and this iodine we have exchanged it with uh, the methyl okay so second reaction in by halogen exchange is swartz reaction i'm just changing the spelling a little in order to remember in order to make our mnemonic i make it swartz reaction so a will remind you of ag and f will remind you of fluoride agf so we are going to use agf in this reaction and we'll be having like say for example we again take uh, ch3 we'll take this time ch3 cl over here so if we take ch3 cl ag and cl will quickly combine with each other forming agcl white precipitate and fluorine will get attached over here getting ch3f that is fluoro or fluoro methane okay fluoro methane okay so this is swartz reaction or swartz reaction uh, what does it indicate it indicates that it is the first reaction okay it is the first reaction which is preparing in, in which we are preparing a fluoroalkene before this we have never got a fluoroalkene this is the first instance where we have got a fluoroalkene and what is the name of the fluoroalkene fluoromethane is the name so we have completed uh, from the first one from alcohols second one from alkenes and third one by halogen exchange okay now there is one more method remaining which one is that yeah from alkenes is one more method remaining yeah just a second now uh, last method is from alkenes so this is a reaction which you have done in your 10th standard as well as your 11th standard we have done this reaction from alkenes so what is this reaction in this we are using a methane and we are adding what say for example simply cl2 and we try to perform the homolytic break of cl2 how do we do the homolytic break of cl2 by using uv light or by using diffuse sunlight so by using uv light or diffuse sunlight what will happen chlorine will split into chlorine free radical and chlorine free radical i mean there are two ways of splitting up chlorine right chlorine molecule is something like this chlorine's atomic number is 17 electronic configuration 287 so it's having seven electrons in the outermost shell you can count over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 
right for this one also one two three four five six seven yeah so these are seven electrons but agar together they get to eight electrons that's how it's forming covalent bond all that stuff you already know so you will light use carrying you will light use karke kya karenge ki we will break the bond exactly from between this is called as a homolytic break it's called diffuse sunlight uh, से यू भी कर सकते हैं और यूवी लाइट से भी कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ होमोलिटिक ब्रेक होमोलिटिक ब्रेक में क्या होता है इसका इलेक्ट्रॉन इसके पास आ जाता है इसका इलेक्ट्रॉन इसके पास आ जाता है दोनों अपना अपना इलेक्ट्रॉन लेके सेपरेट हो जाते हैं तो इट इज फॉर्मिंग क्लोरीन फ्री आर्टिकल्स बोथ क्लोरीन आर हैविंग अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड देर आर नो चार्जेस जनरेटेड ऑन इधर ऑफ द क्लोरीन बट दूसरे केस में क्या होता है इन अनदर केस यू विल सी दैट ब्रेक यहां से हो रहा है यूजिंग ए एल सी एल थ्री अगर करते हैं एक बार मैंने मैकेनिज्म दिखाया था आपको यूजिंग ए एल सी एल थ्री अगर करते हैं तो एल सी एल थ्री विल ब्रेक इन सच अ वे दट वन क्लोरीन विल गेट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन लेस वेन इट गेट्स वन इलेक्ट्रॉन लेस इट बिकम सी एल प्लस एंड अदर क्लोरीन गेट्स वन इलेक्ट्रॉन मोर एक्स्ट्रा राइट खुद के साथ और इसका एक आठ तो एट इलेक्ट्रॉन है वो नेगेटिव चार्ज दिखाएगा इसमें एक इलेक्ट्रॉन कम है इसके लिए पॉजिटिव चार्ज दिखाएगा एंड देर फॉर दिस फॉर्म्स इलेक्ट्रोफाइल दिस फॉर्म्स न्यूक्लियोफाइल इलेक्ट्रोफाइल एंड न्यूक्लियोफाइल दिस इज कॉल्ड एज हेटेरोलिटिक ब्रेक सो डू वी वॉन्ट हेटेरोलिटिक ब्रेक ओवर यर नो वी वॉन्ट होमोलिटिक ब्रेक ओवर यर हेटेरोलिटिक ब्रेक वी जनरली यूज फॉर इलेक्ट्रोलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन इन aromatic compounds we do that we require this hydrolytic break alcl3 in aromatic compounds can electrophilic substitution so at the moment we require just homolytic break okay so what's going to happen ye unpaired chlorine bahut hi zyada reactive hai isko free radical mechanism bhi kehte hai to hydrogen ka ek electron matlab yahan se bond break karke isko bhi homolytically break karega carbon ka electron carbon ke paas rahega and hncl kyunki chlorine bahut hi zyada highly reactive hai so h and h ko wo khinch lega hydrogen ko khinch lega aur cl ke sath mein combine karega राइट right. तो यहां पे क्या मिलेगा हमको सी एच थ्री हाइड्रोजन वन टू थ्री एंड ये दूसरा सी एल यहां पर क्या हो जाएगा अटैच हो जाएगा कार्बन के साथ क्योंकि कार्बन के ऊपर भी क्या है अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन विल कंबाइन विद इच अदर फॉर्मिंग क्लोरोमीथे क्लोरोमीथेन ओके सो दिस इज क्लोरोमीथेन देन दिस रिएक्शन डज नॉट स्टॉप वो आपने uh, शोले फिल्म का एक गाना देखा है क्या कौन सा वो हेमा मालिनी डांस कर रही है उसमें आज जब तक है जान मैं नाचूंगी यस yes. तो इसमें क्या हो रहा है कि जब तक जान है जान मतलब क्या जब तक हाइड्रोजन है हाइड्रोजन कितना है यहां पे तीन हाइड्रोजन अभी और बाकी पहले चार थे तो जब तक सारे हाइड्रोजन खत्म नहीं होते तब तक रिएक्शन रुकेगी नहीं तब तक रिएक्शन कंटिन्यू होते रहेगी सो वी विल बी गेटिंग सी एच टू सी एल टू प्लस एच सी एल सेम थिंग वट हैपन टू ओर राइट वन मोर हाइड्रोजन विल बी रिमूव विद वन मोर सी एल टू फॉर्म एच सी एल एंड अनदर सी एल विल गेट अटैच ओवर सो यू गॉट सी एच टू सी एल टू ठीक है सेम यू लाइट ऑन द एरो फिर सी एच टू सी एल टू को भी क्या करो आप नेक्स्ट स्टेप में ले लो मतलब अपने आप जाता ही है सीरीज रिएक्शन चेन रिएक्शन है रोकना मुश्किल है इस रिएक्शन को इसके लिए हम लोग ये रिएक्शन हलोलगिन के प्रिपरेशन में यूज नहीं करते क्योंकि इफ यू वॉन्ट ओनली क्लोरोमीथेन क्लोरोमीथेन पर रिएक्शन रुकता नहीं है अपने आप आगे कंटिन्यू होते रहता है एंड वी गेट अ मिक्सर ऑफ हलोलगिन विच इज दैन डिफिकल्ट टू सेपरेट दैट्स वाई वी डोंट यूज दिस रिएक्शन इन Preparation of halo alkenes. The practical preparation of halo alkenes. Okay, because it gives you a mixture of halo alkenes. Now, one hydrogen is left. What is it? CHCl3 and HCl. Okay, again UV light on the arrow or diffuse sunlight. Then last step is CHCl3. This is chloroform. Chloroform also called as methane trichloride. Okay. Then you have to split it. Chlorine free radical. Chlorine free radical. Right. We get what? CCl4. Carbon tetrachloride. ठीक है अब इन सब के जो नॉमन क्लेचर वी हैव फिनिश्ड व्हाट वी हैव फिनिश्ड वी हैव फिनिश्ड द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हेलो ऑल्किन्स बट इन सब के जो नाम है ठीक है ये जो प्रोडक्ट्स के नाम है जैसे क्लोरोमीथेन या डाइक्लोरोमीथेन या ट्राइक्लोरोमीथेन है ये टेट्राक्लोरोमीथेन है और इसके कॉमन नेम्स तो ये आईयूपीसी और कॉमन नेम्स का एक बेसिक वीडियो मैंने बनाया है आई जस्ट पोस्ट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज वॉच दैट ऑल्सो वेर एन यूल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू नेम दीज कंपाउंड्स